I'd like to introduce you to a somewhat silly but memorable way of learning how to tie surgical knots. So get out your sneakers and let's get practicing because this right here is how I learned how to tie surgical knots. Okay, so for starters, an introduction to the karate chop. So just like with two-handed knots, you start off with uh, shooting guns. With the karate chop, your starting position is the figure four. Now again, we're only using one hand, so your other hand can pretty much be doing nothing. So for the karate chop, you make the letter D. I usually pull on my finger and just hold my middle finger and my ring finger out. With this, you want to do an internal rotation or karate chop down on your suture that you're holding in your tying hand. You can see this is going to create half of your suture circle. You want to bring the other suture around to create the full suture, cir suture circle around both your fingers. And then you need to bend your middle finger back over the loop of su suture. Grab this little part that's being held between your middle finger and pinched in between your index finger and thumb. Pinch it and then flick that little part through, which is how you bring it through the loop of suture circle. So again, slightly uh, sped up, karate chop down. This is an internal chop. Bring the loop of suture over, grasp that little part of suture on tension, pinch it in between your middle finger and your, in your ring finger, flick the tail through, pull it down. Karate chop, suture circle, grab that tail, flick it through. One more time, karate chop, suture circle, grab that tail, flick it through. And one more time, karate chop, suture circle, grab the tail, flick it through. You're halfway there. That's the karate chop. 